A Seminole woman finally has her brand new solar panels working nearly a year after they were installed. Yeah, the holdup was caused in part because of a discrepancy in mm -hmm. her address, and she was getting the runaround, and that's when she knew she had better call Bankin, and Shannon is getting results. Jen Keith, when I heard how this problem started, I knew I had to get involved and help sort this out. Kathy Hammock finally has what she was supposed to have nearly a year ago, working solar panels. After 11 months of the runaround, she didn't get results until she called Better Call Bankin. Within five days, I think the so I got confirmation that the solar was on. I just can't believe the difference that it made calling you. What was the holdup? Kathy's address is listed on her solar contract as 108th Lane Inn for North. Her street sign shows the same inn, but her Duke Energy bill and property appraiser's website shows no inn. Her solar company told her the address has to match and to have Duke change it on their end. She says Duke tried, but that the solar company needed to make the change. She says after I got involved, the company apologized and made things right. The solar company took the inn mm -hmm. for North off the end of my address. That's all that needed to be done. That's it? That's it. Just one little inn. Yeah. In addition, Kathy says Sunrun also sent her a check for $1,200. That money is to make up for the difference in what her power bill has been compared to what it should have been if her new system had been working. Oh, I thank you very much. You really make a difference in people's lives. Kathy tells me that the company apologized that this slipped through the cracks and also gave her a $1,000 credit to use on future bills. Kathy is leasing this solar system, so that means she will not have a bill for a while. Now, I know things picked up when you got involved, but I mean, was there an explanation on what was taking so long to get this resolved? Not directly, but a spokesman for Sunrun left me a voicemail, and he said that they had been working with a company that sold her the contract to clear this up. So we know that there were several parties involved here. Kathy tells me she's just happy that this is all over. I can imagine so. Mm -hmm. Well done.